Jacqueline was fat, and she didn't try to hide it. She would wear skin-tight clothes to show off her rose, and God knows she relied on it. And she loved for people to look. It was like she was on show, and people would point and laugh wherever she did go. You see, she loved food, especially meat. And one day she got the taste for human flesh on her plate. Hmm, what a treat. A few weeks later she was not seen in the park or on the bus or in the supermarket scene. And soon after that they found her at home, somewhat reduced in size and as skinny as a bone, for she had gotten a taste for herself. Each day she would eat more and more. Self-cannibalism isn't a pretty sight. It looks brutal, sadistic and raw. And eventually she got down to her organs and it gave steak and kidney a whole new name. Her liver and heart were next to depart and I'm afraid that was the end game. So Jacqueline will no longer flaunt her lovely lady lumps on the high street. Plain and simple she ate herself from her head down to her feet. For she lays in the water. Her glass eyes stare back at me, the grey paleness of her rigor mortis as her hair spread amongst the reeds. I stand transfixed, there is beauty in death. It's called at peace, where every last worry has ceased, and the gentle wave on the surface creates the appearance of floating, like ascending to heaven the soul leaves before the bloating. I never knew her, but somewhere inside she resembled a memory of someone else that had died. And as we all come to know death, there is absolutely nothing to fear. For as the waves lap the shoreline again and again, the day draws near. And when my time comes, I will welcome it like an old friend. And in the end, I know I will come again.